macrophages and dendritic cell extend pseudopods or false feet from the large cell body which allows them to search a surrounding area for antigens. In dendritic cells, these cytoplasmic extensions seem more spiny. These then allow them to move their cytoplasm and flow into a new region, or they can be retracted and perhaps draw microbes towards the cell body where they can be engulfed into a vesicle there. Monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells can recognize a variety of antigens using toll-like receptors and other generalized receptors, allowing them to perceive fungi such as yeast, viruses and virally infected cells, bacteria, and abnormal antigens present on the surface of cancer cells, and they can recognize cellular debris for phagocytosis. The likelihood of phagocytosis increases after opsonization, or the attachment of antibodies and lectins to the surface of an object to be eliminated. Macrophages are also critical in the removal of body cells. For example, red blood cells are destroyed by macrophages, especially those in the liver and spleen. At a wound site, neutrophils, which have ingested large numbers of microbes, are phagocytized by macrophages. The lysosomes of macrophages possess toxic chemicals and are capable of producing the reactive oxygen species which destroy the ingested particles. A macrophage may ingest a hundred cells before it dies. Individual monocytes can fuse to form a large syncytium, a multinucleate fused mass of cells. In bone, one encounters osteoclasts, which reabsorb bone. These large cells result from the fusion of multiple monocyte precursors.